only an eyewitness news tonight, the danger of violent flash mobs. Large groups gathering suddenly to commit crimes. And local experts tell us the problem is getting worse. We have seen what appears to be, um, since the summer, a, a large rise in um, criminally oriented flash mobs. The problem has also grabbed headlines here in Rhode Island. That's right. So what are local schools and shopping centers doing to prepare? Well, Patrick Little joins us with the story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. When you hear flash mob, you probably think of a group of people breaking into song or dance. But scenes like this right here are giving the phrase an entirely different and darker meaning. And experts tell us many communities simply aren't ready to handle this type of crime. From Philly to D.C., the videos are popping up more frequently nationwide. Swarms of usually college-age kids caught on surveillance cameras and cell phone video, robbing stores, smashing property, even brutally beating innocent bystanders. These groups um, tend to organize themselves in an in a intentional fashion to go out and commit a crime of sorts, whether it's, it's rob a convenience store or go into a retail shopping center and um, you know, have a large number of people go in and spontaneously start stealing things off of the shelves. Professor Sean Verano is a criminologist at Roger Williams University. He says flash mobs are difficult to predict or prevent because the groups form so quickly often using social media. I think that the policing community really right now is behind the eight ball on this. Even if violence is not the intent of a flash mob, experts tell us volatility is a concern. <laughs> Remember this scene? A flash mob of 400 people took over the URI library back in May. The incident broken up with only minor property damage. Police responded and found uh, overwhelmed, overrun with students. A couple of uh, filing cameras got dented and I think we replaced one or two uh, ceiling panels, but nothing uh, too serious. Now we've learned school officials are studying this event and others across the country to improve their response to large unexpected gatherings. Really trying to figure out what are the dynamics that cause an incident to become a 200 or 400 person incident where 10 years ago it may have been a 5 or 10 person incident. Experts tell us quick action is even more important in the age of social media because swarms can grow quickly, increasing the chances that a situation will turn violent. Even when what appears to be fun or silly events happen, the use of social media, the potential for danger is very real. Now, we also talked to officials from Warwick and Providence Place Malls as part of our report. They tell us that flash mobs are the latest addition to a long list of incidents they have to be prepared for. I'm Patrick Little, Eyewitness News.